what's up guys welcome to another video if you are new to the channel then welcome back and if you are new make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell and also guys make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll give that to you guys let's get this video started what's up guys welcome to another video now you guys probably noticed the difference of the scenery and that is because my family and I are taking a morning walk. Now, just to jump right into the video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how you can prepare for a heart transplant surgery. If you have heart failure or if you have the LVAD, most likely you need a heart transplant. Now, there are three different type of LVAD patients. For me, I embrace the transplant. I don't know what you guys are. You guys definitely could comment in the comment section below if you know which kind of LVAD patient you are. But this video, honestly, I feel like no matter which one you are, it still helps you. Now, if, you're, if you've had your LVAD for like two, three, four months, then you definitely should start getting ahead on this stuff and preparing for the heart transplant surgery just because you don't know like when you could get the call that you're ready to have the heart transplant. It could be months, it could be years, weeks, days. Nobody really knows, so it's best that you prepare early and get ahead of everything. Now, there are some things that you need to watch out for. I know some of us don't like it. I know all of us don't like it, the cutting out the certain foods that we like and just doing way more, but in the long run, it's definitely gonna be worth it. Now, there are three ways that you can prepare for a heart transplant surgery, and that is physically, that is mentally, and that is emotionally. First one we're gonna start with is physically. And the question you might be asking, how can I prepare for a heart transplant surgery physically? And it's pretty obvious. They probably talk about this stuff, but if not, that's why I made this channel to help other people like me. And I'm gonna tell you guys about this, these things. So physically, I would say exercising. You wanna walk. Right now, you like if you're in the first two months, just heal. But I said the third, the fourth month and so on, you definitely wanna start early. As you can see me, I'm on my fourth month. With my elevator and i'm walking and got my fiance who pushes me to walk and just just help out and do more because i mean let's just be honest like sometimes we just get lazy sometimes you just want to lay down but i'm glad she's pushing me but like i said physically you want to walk you want to exercise you want to do as much as you can because you want to go into the surgery at your best health now i'm not saying go lift 200 pounds thinking you're the incredible hulk you definitely want to do that you don't want that much strain on your heart but light exercising like walking the elliptical bicycling the cardio machines rowing treadmill and just stuff like that you definitely want to work out or exercise physically when i first went into the hospital and found out i was diagnosed with heart failure i was 212. now when i had the surgery and had to stay that month in the hospital i was 176. And that was just because of like dieting and exercise. I definitely had to walk. Like, don't think it's going to be easy. I definitely had to walk. It's going to be times where you don't want to walk and you have to walk just to like show that you want to leave the hospital and approve. Second way you can prepare for a heart transplant surgery is mentally. And that's just like going into this whole thing, like with a great attitude. Uh, for me, I'm going to tell you guys actually a, a quick story. For me, I went to the hospital and they told me that I had to get the LVAD heart surgery. And for some reason, like for anybody else who here they had to get heart surgery, you probably wouldn't smile, most likely not. But for me, uh, throughout the whole thing, I was just smiling and smiling and smiling. Um, when I was going into surgery, the day of surgery, I still was smiling. Uh, so it's just like to have a great positive attitude about things. You don't want to go into any kind of surgery with a bad mindset or attitude. It just make things like two times, three times, 10 times worse. So in, in my opinion, having a great mentality could get you, it take you so far in life. Like it, it could take you through so much stuff and things that like other people would give up on. Like you could just fly right through it. So physically and mentally, those are the things that you should be doing to like prepare for heart surgery if you are an LVAD patient. Now, thirdly, and the last one, emotionally. Now, it's okay to cry if you hear that you're about to get a heart transplant because I'm not going to let you guys like when I get that call. Oh, yeah, I'm crying. Like, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to like boo hoo hoo crap, but I'm definitely crying. So it's, it's okay to cry and getting your feelings, getting your emotions out before the surgery. It's just like a, a great feeling. But I will say don't like get like scared. Don't like 
freak out about things because like i said this is gonna make it bad and make it not the best that it could have been for you now like i said for me like when i hear that i'm getting in a heart transplant i'm gonna cry that's for certain um, i might be a little freaked out and scared but it's I don't I can't really explain it but I think that's everybody but try not to like overthinking and try not to like let your emotions like take control and just give you bad feelings and bad thoughts and nothing like that just be excited that you're getting heart transplant like this is what we need to survive and it's just a great feeling but if you guys get any questions feel free to contact me I'll put all my contact information in the description in the description of this video I put my Facebook I put Gmail just ways you guys can contact me if you guys get any questions. I have been helping out so many people and that is just honestly something that like I love doing. This is the whole reason why I made this channel is to help other people like me. I've helped people or families on Instagram. I've helped families on Facebook. This type of stuff is what I love to do. So if you guys have any questions at all, just feel free to contact me. Um, quick responder. Um, it's just easy to contact me. Like I said, I put my contact information in the description so you guys can get a hold of me. And uh, hopefully I continue to help more people like me because this is a big life changing thing. And I think that it's like a community, you know what I'm saying? Like you just need to be there for one another and it just makes things so much better. It like, gives you motivation, it just gives you determination, all that, all those types of things. But that is it for this video. If you guys like what you've seen, please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this video and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. And as always, I love to see you guys comment. So comment on this video and any other video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.